Hey, welcome back to RDLP. How's it going, my blue crew? We have Beardless today. We got rid of it. Why? Uh, because it's been a long time coming. And it's back to being my nice soft boy self for the next little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited and very cold on my chin. So, to the moon. To the moon. We've been playing to the moon with uh, huge thanks to Jackie Kircher for uh, helping us. If you haven't been to Zerglings as cats.tumblr.com, by the way, you gotta go. <laughs> it's real good. Um, as well as you can you can follow her on Twitter, at Jackie Kircher. The links are down below. She's great, I promise. And uh, so we've been playing to the moon. And when we last left off to the moon, when we had a beard, we all, I guess we're kind of, we're going back in time, just like in to the moon. Um, but we are now a, look at this, we're like a little middle age, middle adult. We're midway through being a middle age adult, is basically where we're at right now. And we've learned a whole lot about um, what his, what our boy Johnny, Johnny Cakes, Johnny Casanova, um, Johnny Bravo, the things that make him tick in his later stages. Uh, we know whose connections with, uh, how he's known these people for a long time. We still don't know why he wants to go to the moon, but we're going to fly him to the moon. We're going to take him up by the stars. And then he's going to tell us how things are going up in Jupiter and Mars. Um, but the whole time through, we are collecting his memories. And we're kind of like creating an archive going from the most recent stuff backwards, which is so cool. It's not a linear order like from front to back. Like when you play Civilization, it's in a linear like here's 2000 BC. Now here's 1000 BC. It's like it's the other way. And that's kind of cool that we are using posts to like repel backwards in time. Um, but it's also like really haunting. It's super haunting because I don't have a good memory. My memory's awful. If they were to do this to me, if I were to like get set up with this memory transplant business, um, it would be a struggle for them to literally do these things. Which is, I mean, I've told you guys this before, but this is why I make Let's Plays is because my memory is not good. My memory is really, really bad. And so I make these for me. As much as I make them for you, I, I want to make an entertaining product. I love you guys. Um, but this is also my emotional log through the games that I play over the periods of time. Sometimes I have a beard. Sometimes I don't have a beard. And those are important to me too, just as much as it's important to everyone else who's watching. And... Yeah, I make Let's Plays so that I can remember how, what I did in 2017. So that I can remember what I did in 2016 and 15 and 14 and who I was back then. And so this kind of archive has been, like making this archive has been extremely rewarding for me. And it's interesting every time we play a game that involves memories, which is not the most often, but To the Moon is very memory filled. And it is gonna be just a lot of emotions it's gonna be a lot of emotions so uh let's get back to work it's kind of weird how this has been really worky <laughs> we're we're really getting into like the nitty-gritty of okay another day another dollar let's pick up our five memories let's find our way out of here and let's peace out here's the baby grand how did they move this all the way upstairs who knows but i bet it'd be a piece of cake for the tardis not really. You, I mean, you can't. You gotta get through the door of the TARDIS first. Then you get. Then it gets bigger on the inside. Mmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get inside. I wouldn't mind an episode of Doctor Who that involved them trying to move a baby grand piano into the TARDIS. Me neither. It actually sounds pretty epic. <laughs> These goofballs. So what's... Oh, what? Where do they live right now? What's the rest of this place look like? You went out for a haircut this early in the morning. Yeah? What are you making there? 
This is when the bunnies first started, huh? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Oh, did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me, tell me about that rabbit. Uh huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. That's our other question. What is River's fascination? Why are they folding so many rabbits? Is something wrong? River? She seems she's like stuck in this loop and they've had discussions before with um, people having mental disorders and, and, and they've kind of run that line without really there's no hard diagnosis, because that's not something you really need uh, in this kind of situation. But I'm just like, huh, 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 what do the rabbits... I think what I want to know is what do rabbits mean to River? Is more what I want to know than why is she folding so many rabbits. Because the fact of the matter is she folded rabbits all the way up to her death. That's... there's no other... we know that. Um... I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but it's rather odd, even for that. You think she's... to you? I don't know if we should skirt around it, but like, perhaps, who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Well, that's a little, a little sterile. Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, she cut her own hair. She didn't go out to get a haircut. She literally, like, cut her hair early in the morning. Whoa. It's still just the bucket. Oh, there's the one, the platypus. All right. That's the ticket that we're looking for. So this is the day that she started doing rabbits. And there should be one more object to interact with. But I feel like I might have passed it up the stairs. There's a reason that we had to start in the upstairs, right? Oh, it's the box, it's the box. Let's hop back down and examine us this little package of Rooney. Boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. Oh, we were supposed to look at that before we walked in to see all this happening. All right, let's fire them into the shell. So that's that loose end at least tied up chronologically. Uh, now we just gotta now we don't know where this platypus came from. That's the other thing. Three moves, three moves. Oh, we can do this in three moves, no problem. Bop, bop, and bop. I love it when it's three moves. I could work backwards three moves. Once it hits five, and then I struggle with working backwards. Hmm. So I think this will take us into his Young adulthood. No, we still got one more step. We're still, we're still in the middle age, and we're outside. Oh, we're back at the uh, lighthouse. Let's walk through his car, because they like it when we do that. Oh, I guess not. Not today. Why did they take us out here if there's not any? white flower, or the purple flowers, but I can't click on those either. I guess we'll just walk up. So this is gonna be before the house was built. The house that Jack built. 
Ah, okay, so we're getting mementos, we're getting memories from walking up the path. The path that they took to get here. This is a path that they seem to have taken regularly to get to the top of this area and look over the cliff. <laughs> oh, I'm so worried about what kind of discussion they're gonna have here though. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Note, note acrophobia in the doctor. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. That's weird. Why would they say that like that, though? Um, all right, we'll go th over the log. Boing. Now that's a classic JRPG-ism. Good, 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 good. Little hops. I love them. Hey, the crew on the log at the edge of the cliff. And the lighthouse is on. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy and I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Ooh! It's confession time! Their first meeting was tainted. What does that mean? And Izzy... What is that, a, a hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? The lighthouse? I don't know, do you want me to try? Would you? Chuck it, just hook it. Bye! Sack that hacky right off the cliff. River! Are you insane? Get away from there. Um. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they might be connected? Probably. Well, let's... There's the memento. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. And there's all five of them. So we're looking at the backpack. This backpack is a memento. And there's something about Izzy. Izzy was the last... That was has something to do with this hacky sack that we just threw over at the boat. Okay, one, two, three, and then top. Perfect. Nice. It's a very kind one. Very dirty backpack. Long-lived backpack. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. We've got one more stage in the Middle Age. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wave, why you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. 
With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norm systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. These slow panning motions. Ha! Huh, I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business, let's move. Except that it's like totally part of our business. We've been talking about this since the beginning of the, since the beginning of this episode, that like, Something weird is going on with memories, where we are, are traipsing through Mr. Johnny. Uh, here comes Johnny, Johnny boy. We're traipsing through his memories uh, in correlation and in parallel with someone whose memories we would not be able to traipse through. We would not be able to do any of this with, with River. Her mind is like a river. It flows wherever it's going to flow. Um, and there's... Not much way to divert that. I guess uh, Isabella Izzy here has. She diverted the entire flow of her mental river um, to such a degree that she can't put it back now. She's put a dam. She's dammed up the whole, the whole junk, metaphorically speaking. Um, wow. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue talking about mental illness. We're gonna keep uh, diving deeper into this. This has been awesome and amazing. We're gonna get out of the Middle Ages and see. Uh, maybe it'll be less dramatic the like younger that we go. I'm kind of hoping, <laughs> but that might be a that might be a hollow hope. Anyways, regardless, I love you guys. I'm glad I got to see you today, and thanks for being here. I'll see you next time for more to the moon on Rainy Day Let's Play. <laughs>